welcome to another episode of What's Brewing with ONTAP. My name is Eduardo Rivera, and I'm going to talk to you about ONTAP. Now, today's topic, I want to talk to you about ONTAP in the cloud. Uh, but before we get started, here is my trusty mug. And today I'm brewing some tea because it's cold outside and it's morning. And that's what I want to drink. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about ONTAP in the cloud. You've probably seen a lot of press releases, a lot of solutions coming out of NetApp uh, with regards to our, our cloud strategy and cloud products. It is really hard to make it justice in just a few minutes of a video. And frankly, things are you know, evolving even as we speak. But what I wanted to do today is touch upon some of the major ONTA related uh, solutions that we have sitting on the public cloud. And, and those solutions are CVO, or Cloud Volumes on Tap, CVS or Cloud Volume Service, ANF or Azure NetApp Files, and then FSX on Tap in AWS, which is uh, the latest, uh, I'll say, on Tap re release that we've done in the public cloud. Again, many of these um, services tie into other cloud services that we offer. And the reason we have this, I'll say, uh, portfolio of on Tap solutions is because you know there's always different use cases that we're trying to uh, to solve for. Right. We're trying to help our customers mi migrate data between, between clouds, between on-premises and the cloud, uh, and have some consistency of data management. Now, with that said, you know, let's, let's jump into CVO first. So CVO, or Cloud Volumes on top. Um, the way I think about it is that we have a, essentially a virtual version of an on top filer sitting in the public cloud. And what I mean public cloud, it's essentially sitting either on AWS, Azure, or GCP. You can you build and you deploy this virtual instantiation of ONTAP, and then it just looks and feels like the fire that you have on-premises, right? You do the same type of management. You have the, the same efficiency uh, uh, technologies, uh, data protection, replication technologies. And again, it feels and functions just as a filer would in, on, on on-premise deployment. And of course, it, as I said earlier, it links, uh, this solution can link into all sorts of other NetApp services we have in the cloud, like back, the cloud backup service, cloud sync, cloud insights, uh, cloud data sense, et cetera. It's also meant for you to be able to migrate data on premises to the cloud and do, take advantage of things like SnapMare uh, that you can do between a CVO and an on-premise instance. Now, if you don't think that you want to manage a virtual instantiation of ONTAP in the public cloud, then that's where CVS comes into play. Well, CVS or Cloud Volume Service, as the name implies, is really a service that allows you to consume volumes or data volumes, right, uh, on a uh, you know, as you need basis without having to manage the the backend infrastructure. Now, CVO uh, provides the ability to you for you to do iSCSI, SMB, and NFS. In CVS, it's really an NFS as SMB SMB solution. But CVS is very simple to consume. It's easy to deploy. It takes you know a few minutes to just click through a few things and just create a volume and expose it to your virtual servers in the cloud and start using it you know in whatever way you want to do it. Uh, but CVS still retains some of those on top properties, right? We still have data protection through snapshots. We have the way to do some replication. It also integrates with some of the NetApp cloud services that we have out there. So it, it still brings with it uh, a lot of that on top goodness. It just you know, less, less complicated, right? It's just a, it's a simple service for you to be ready to consume. And CVS exists today on AWS and uh, GCP or Google Cloud, right? Now, in the Azure Cloud, we have something called ANF. ANF looks and feels and it acts very much like CVS does on AWS and GCP. ANF stands for Azure NetApp Files. And in the case of Azure NetApp Files, is a, a native Microsoft uh, solution. Right, but, but but behind the scenes, we're powering it through ONTAP. And, and as such, you again, you get the same uh, data protection, efficiency, and other, other properties that ONTAP brings to the table. Uh, in this case, uh, through a, a Microsoft uh, branded and native uh, solution that, that, that you consume in Azure. And, and just like CVS, it supports SMB and NFS. And then there's FSX ONTAP, right? FSX ONTAP is the latest uh, major ONTAP cloud release, I'll say. It is not CVO, it is not CVS, it is something in between, right? FSX ONTAP allows you to 
have some control, right, of how, let's say, volumes are created, uh, interfaces, even to some degree, uh, uh, storage virtual machines. Uh, they, they have different names, after Santa, but you have that, that control without having to fully manage and worry about a, a, a complete instantiation of, of, of on top, like, like the way CVL does, right? So it's a, a fully managed, operated, and supported solution by AWS. And it doesn't require you to do any installation or upgrades or, or really any maintenance. Uh, but it gives you the ability to do things like multi-protocol support, right? So if you, it, it supports SF, uh, SMB, NFS, and iSCSI. Uh, and again, just like CVO, it supports efficiency, it supports uh, uh, snapshots, it supports replication, and it also integrates with other cloud services out there. Uh, this is a AWS native service. Uh, it is something that, uh, I, I, at least for us, has been very popular. We, we're using it actively within NetApp IT. I think it's a, it's a really interesting solution. And I, uh, and I think it's going to continue to, to grow uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming year. I briefly covered, I think, uh, you know, four different services. Uh, the reason we have all this uh, variety, I will say in a portfolio is because it covered different use cases and different needs by different customers. Uh, we have gone through, at least within NetApp ID, we use all four of these in different, in, in different locations for different reasons. And, and, and one, once more to reiterate, the point here is that we have the ability to do this data management when different across multiple clouds, across on-premises, have the integration points with cloud services as well as on-premise solutions. Now, I know it's super hard to give this uh, a very thorough review in just a few minutes. I just wanted to give you a high level, I'll say rundown of what all these services are, what are they called and where do they live? And with that said, I hope that you guys go and look up some more information. And if you, if you do want to, you can go to cloud.net.com where you'll see a lot more uh, collateral about all these services. With that said, thank you so much for joining us today and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.